So this is going to be Gemini Sun Moon and as well rising a weekly love and relationship tarot reading January 13th to uh, January 19th 2020 and uh, if you are interested guys with uh, getting in touch with me for a personal reading uh, you can have a look in the description down below and there you're gonna find the link to my website from which uh, you can purchase and schedule reading. So that being said let's move to uh, the Gemini, the, no, the Gemini general reading for that particular week and the first card which represents the topic uh, for your love and relationship uh, week is going to be the Four of Pentacles followed by the next one here which stands as the uh, energies feeding and supporting the topic uh, that will be the Eight of Wands afterwards we do have the challenges that you need to overcome uh, that will be the Knights of Pentacles. Afterwards is going to be uh, the gifts and the blessings that you are going to be uh, gifted or rather like blessed with. I don't know. Okay, so you, you are going to have to enjoy. Uh, that will be the gifts and the blessings of the Page of Wands. Uh, then it is uh, how people are going to see you, what kind of an impression people are going to be left with while being around you throughout the week. That includes your person of interest, beloved one, um, husband or a wife, etc., etc., family, friends. Uh, we do have 10 of pentacles into that position, uh, followed by the next one, which is what is going to help your long-term goal. And uh, no bummer here, uh, the full card. It should be. It should have been the full card, judgment, uh, the world, if you will, something like this, or one of the aces as well. Um, as a follow-up to that string that we do have here. All right, so next one, it is what is going to uh, hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. That will be the two of wands. And then the last one, uh, it is the guidance that Taro is offering. Uh, that will be the eight of cups. Okay, so that will be a pretty significant uh, week, guys. And it is a week of moving on. But doesn't necessarily you need to move on alone. Okay, moving on from certain situations, let's say, or a um, obstructions, obstacles, circumstances. How? Let's see. So we do have uh, these two cards um, as a start of the reading, the energies and the topic. And uh, they pretty much speaks for the line that you have reached okay uh, you have i would say it that way you have reached a certain stage that serves as a checkpoint at that point okay either into your relationship or into your interactions or into building up on interactions or building up a, a momentum for an interactions with someone and now this needs to be cashed in on or rather like a capitalized on if you will and the energies here are very favorable for you Gemini it is because it does look like that there will be many ways of how you can do so and as well many opportunities for you to do so as supportive energies more or less all the risks that especially with the four of pentacles here all the risks that are accompanying those opportunities are going to be significantly decreased Okay, so therefore you have the luxury to experiment how to enthrall someone or how to improve your marriage, how to improve your relationship as well. But above everything else, how to build up mutual reliability. This is what we are going to talk about here throughout this, um, throughout this reading. It's about building up a sense of security and mutual reliability among two people. And this is how you move on forward uh, throughout this week. Or yeah, it's moving on from a, an unpleasant circumstances and uh, predicaments throughout this week, January 13th to January 19th. But important thing as well to be said here with the Four of Pentacles, it is that, how can I say it? Mm, whatever positive aspect that your situation has, it needs to be cultivated as well. And don't you worry about it. You are going to have also an opportunities to do so. 
Now, the next one, it will be the challenges uh, that you will need to overcome, and that is the Knight of Pentacles. So we said that it is a week where you have to move on, or you are going to move on from a certain unpleasant situations. Now, the challenge is going to be to keep up the same pace with the person that is going to move on with you, or rather, that person needs to keep up the same pace with you. That is for a reason being is that the king, the Knights of Pentacles, although very devoted, determined, and as well aware of what they want, they are very slow into making a decision, into performance, uh, and into generally keep up a, a relatively fast pace. Take it that way, these are people who does not like to resolve two problems in the same day. Okay, so uh, the challenging thing for you is going to be to mot to motivate um, enough that person to keep up the pace with you. How you're going to do so? Well, just like we said, you're going to have a many opportunities for that to happen. Well, best motivation for them, it is that if they spend time among nature, nature recharges them. So if that's your husband, for example, that Knight of Pentacles, maybe you want to start walking in the park with them by talking about moving on from that misfortunate scandal that you do had recently and that you can set those disagreements or an argument behind your backs, you know, and move on live, living happily ever after and so on and so forth. Just giving you an, an example here. But um, that's the thing with the Knights of Pentacles. They always have a, a devotion and therefore in order to overcome the challenge with their slow pace, you have to feed up their, uh, to feed or to fuel uh, their devotion. So the next, the next one is going to be the gifts and the blessings that uh, you are going to enjoy throughout this week. And we do have the page of wands and only one thing comes up into this narrative as a gift and a blessing. That will be the gift and the blessing of a, a good news. Okay. It's just, it's just that you're going to hear something good about your relationship, about your person of interest or about yourself. It could be that you're going to hear a good news that someone, you know, likes you and, you know, want to hang out with you. And therefore, from there, you can have, you know, a, an opportunity for a further interactions and for the dating. But that is the good, the, the, the gift and the blessing from the page of wands into that narrative. By a long shot as well, the page could represent the gift and the blessing of multiple varieties. It's kind of like that you are in charge and you can play around with your situation, but that is by a long shot. And if that's the case, you have a lot of responsibility to uh, to tackle with and it almost doesn't feel like a gift and a blessing, okay? Now, the next one, it is what kind of an impression you're going to leave into people, how people are going to see you. That is going to be uh, Ten of Pentacles. Well, first thing, people are going to see you trustworthy. That's very important. Second of all, people are going to see you. That's also very important as not, uh, what was the word that I was searching for? Um, independent. People are going to see you independent. And that will be a further motivation for this Knight of Pentacles to keep up pace with you because that Knight of Pentacles is going to see that, yes, you are going to be pleased to move forward with him or her. But if that doesn't happen, you're not going to die and you can quickly find a replacement or even if you don't find a replacement, you're going to be fine with it as well. So this week it is like mm, someone is chasing you, all right? Your person of interest is chasing you, your husband or wife is chasing you and so on and so forth. It is because they, for example, uh, see that you don't have any of it anymore. And if things are not going to improve, then things need to end right here right now and that will be enough motivation for them to move on forward and once again you're going to have a many opportunities to parade with that kind of a uh, state of mind or state of position if you will and additionally to that people are going to see you or are going to have an impression that you are finally in your skin what i mean here is that you are feeling 
in tune with how things are uh, unfolding and that you are very comfortable with whatever results, you know, your actions or your de decisions are producing. Now, the next one, it is what is going to help your long term love and relationship go. We do have the fool. And as we all know, fool, it is about new beginnings. So in that case, um, this card points to transcending. It's like moving one stage further or one stage upper. It's, um, it's difficult to describe it. Well, let's say surpassing one's limits and one's capabilities. It's because when you have started your relationship, for example, you had in mind a certain limits. Well, it's time to think beyond those limits. So it's like thinking big. Now, of course, uh, this will be a road that will contain ups and downs. Maybe it's going to be like a roller coaster. Nobody can predict that yet. But um, you, you should not think of it right now because it may be just only with ups, right? So that being said, you should focus only on the idea. And just to give you an example of it, Gemini, you may have thought that when you entered in a relationship, you may have thought that you're never gonna get married for that person, but now that marriage, it kinda looks more closer than ever. And therefore, you know, you can exceed your expectations and like, you know, start thinking, beyond the limits you have subconsciously set on yourself and on the relationship as well. Um, a very, not to mention, very potent card for a, uh, how can I say it? Mm, a wavered situation, I don't know how to classify it. When you think that you're never going to be with that man or with that woman, well, you may be surprised. Um, next one, it is uh, what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. And here is where you need to have also to draw a, a certain line of how you tackle with that Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Now, two of ones in terms of love and relationship, it is about high demands. It is a, about gaining power into uh, into one's interactions and into one's relationship as well. So that is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goals because at certain point it will start feels like that you are doing everything for yourself and that you kind of like are disregarding the um, the emotional state, the feelings and, you know, the wishes of the other person, your person of interest, your husband or your wife. So that card here points that you have to be as well reasonable with your demands and with your expectations, if you will. Yes, you have to think beyond your initial, initial ones, but in the same time, you cannot be unreasonable about them. And the last one, it's um, just one second here. The last one here, it's about the guidance the tarot is offering. And that will be the Eight of Cups. And it's no surprise whatsoever. It is because the Eight of Cups points that nothing really always goes smooth. And it is, we are humans. We always do mistakes. It's just what we do. Okay. And dwelling into a things, decisions, consequences, repercussions, circumstances that we cannot alter and that those circumstances or whatever or whatever are, so, are, are something that we don't like, we are just losing so much time. So at certain points, that's why I said at the start of the, lead, of the reading, we have to move on. So you fight with your wife, say, over certain things and no one wants to back off from it well eventually it's time to move on i mean just leave it be okay you're arguing about what kind of a color your house is going to be and uh, you can't reach an agreement well then don't paint it at all you know just move on to the next thing and uh yeah at some point you have to be able to draw a line how far you can go with certain um issue or with certain situation, if you will, uh, relationship or love-wise love and move on from it with 
or without the person next to you. So that being, being said, Gemini, this was your um, weekly love and relationship tarot reading. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check the description down below. There you're going to find a, a link to my website from which you can uh, purchase and schedule a personal reading. So hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.